So, you may or may not have heard, but let me pick you up on speed. Lately, Mr. 260 Bradley Martin. Like, yeah. you should say you weigh 260? 260. And people think that, like, muscles, like, mean something. <laughs> muscles don't mean nothing, like... like yeah, if, if I could jump on you, then, then maybe. If I could hold you on the floor, sure. Yes. But in boxing, no, I know that's but not even, but even, But even, even in a street fight... I'd like, beat the they, f*** out of you in a street no, fight. No, I would, I would you, bro. <laughs> yeah. I would, I would, I would God, I love it. No, like for you real, think for real. at your weight. What's your weight? Damn it, I want his fucking weight. No, so so 150, around 150. Bro, I would maul you at 150. No. A hundred percent. No. You think you beat me in a street fight? Huh? You think you beat me in a street fight? You in a street fight? Yeah. <laughs> you're a you're a podcaster, brother. Bradley has recently gotten a little expedite of fame. You could even call it the slap heard around town with the speed and power that came from it. And the reason? Because a streamer who I have only recently heard of, who goes by Stable Ronaldo, who I will, for speech purposes, call Stable, decided to take Bradley's hat during a workout or something. I'm not too sure, but from the clips, it looks like they were just standing around and not doing anything. That's funny. That's funny. I think, I think that's what Michael Jackson saw before he did. <laughs> and so, why is this on today's Stupid Games Win Stupid Prizes? Well, was the slap a bit much? Sure. But tomato potato is what I call this situation. You can either think that the slap was a bit much or not enough, because either way, it really doesn't matter. But what does matter is the leading up action to that slap. That being that Stable took his hat for no reason other than to antagonize him. And sure, you can say, oh, well, no, he just wanted to take the hat for some fun or as a prank. But I really don't care because it doesn't matter how Stable wanted his feelings to be conveyed through him taking his hat. They just were. It doesn't matter how many crystals he has in his brain to try and convey happy energies to Bradley, because reality is still reality, and there was no good reason to take his hat. And all it did was antagonize Bradley, because Bradley is clearly angered about his hat being taken. Either because he has an insecurity about a bald spot or something, or because he just doesn't like dealing with petty stuff, because the reason for his anger really does not matter in this situation. What happened happened because of the nature of balance. You play games to win a prize, be it through happiness or an actual prize. It is still a prize nonetheless. And alongside balance, you reap what you sow. You play a game of high stakes because there are high prizes, and low stakes mean low rewards. Or, in better words, you play a stupid game and you win a stupid prize. The main arbiters of these types of prizes go to people who win Darwin Awards. You can play a stupid game with the train and you will win the stupid prize of losing a game of chicken with the train. Now, of course, taking a hat for the laughs is not the same as playing chicken with a train. But the prize is just as stupid. Making someone into the laughing stock of a stream just for your own entertainment is an excellent way to anger someone. And so, for playing a stupid game of pin the tail on the donkey, Stable won the stupid prize of Bradley Martin's hand. Now, this series is new. But what is the purpose I hear you ask? Well, one of the things that I hope to replicate in our future by being a voice for the better generation is that we will hopefully create a better world. And in my opinion, a better world is one where people learn to have self-control. And Stable here is an excellent example of not having self-control. And for him playing this stupid game, he won a stupid prize of Bradley Martin giving his cheek the rebukement he deserved. But without further ado, be better and live with the rules of truth, honesty, reliability, self-control, and consistency with your words and actions.
Go with power and knowledge that you're listening to the correct side of life. And I encourage you to spread the word of this community to everyone. Because in this landscape, everyone can benefit from it. And it would be selfish of you to hide it. But you should also sustain that you will leave with the understanding that you will be a better person for being alongside us all. But without further ado, have a good one.